we'll full end around here. Reaver has been produced. There's that shuttle. Reaver has been produced. We'll see what it can do. Uh, but again, he's got to basically, with this single Reaver, take out all of Gomi's troops uh, and in the meantime still deal with Mu afterwards. Uh, he does have another Corsair heading in, but honestly he needs to micromanage both very effectively to get anything accomplished. Uh, Corsair looks like it's just going to hang out, actually, uh, for spotting purposes alongside. Probe now heading back. Probe did spot that robotics facility coming out, and he needs to be careful. He's, he's going straight over the cannons here, and there's a third cannon going down. Uh, let's see if he, he... looks like he's bringing a little bit to the right. Honestly, I think he should go all the way around the other direction. Dropping that Reaver now to take out those cannons. Uh, unfortunately, the second cannon going to be... Ooh, ooh, nice! Taking out a couple... one of the cannons, a couple probes here, but this cannon going to come online uh, directly here. He needs to hurry up and take that out. Uh, it's going to be close. Cannon is going to come up, but it doesn't get a shot off before it morphs in. So at least getting some sort of effective damage here. At least stopping Gobi here, but still taking a couple hits from this Reaver. Now going after the cannon otherwise and doing a lot of splash damage actually the buildings uh, additionally. So maybe he can bring in uh, just a couple zealots alongside uh, to do some damage otherwise. But in the meantime, Mu, as you can see, he's got all sorts of speed upgraded overlords pushing across. Probably going to upgrade, uh, yeah, upgrading drop as well. Uh, and now he's mining out the south. I don't think Sick, uh, Sick might be able to... Uh, take out Moo, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Gomi, but he's not going to be able to stop Moo. And Moo completely relocating with his probes here, putting down additional nexus at the secondary of Blade's base. Uh, and so he's just going to just bide his time, basically. Let's, uh, let Moo do all the work and just bide his time otherwise. Uh, now opening, wow, opening up the south. That is a lot of Hydralisks. I don't think Sick can really stop this. He's got a second Reaver producing. He's already got another Reaver down on his base, but he'd need a lot more cannons. He needs Templar, really, to deal with this. Getting a second robotics facility down wants to maintain mobility, I guess, across the map and try to win it uh, that way. Uh, Corsair attacking that shuttle as it was pu uh, pushing across the map, so being annoying in that regard at least. So he has managed to at least stop uh, one opponent, but again, uh, while he was away, uh, Mu was just absolutely producing a huge force. He's got all sorts of Hydralisks going into these overlords for a drop, and again, I don't think Sick has anything to really defend against this. Four overlords uh, loading up uh, with, it looks like, a, basically a full control group of Hydralisks, and momentarily that is going to be going right over the lines into, uh, and honestly, if he micros it right, those uh, Reavers aren't going to be as effective as they could be otherwise. <clears throat> anyway, and also actually mining out the south as well, so it could just send uh, Zerglings that direction here. And now that Corsair is being taken out, it is going to see that those overlords uh, are pushing out for a drop and going over the mineral lines. Honestly, he doesn't even need to do that. He could just unload them there. Yeah, he is going to unload them there and just uh, bring them up for attack. Single Zealot there going to get taken out fairly quickly, and now the Hydra is going to push up. Sick, as you can see, bringing up uh, all his Reavers, everything back. Uh, the one Corsair and two Reavers he has. Just to get, kind of give you, guy, uh, give you guys an idea of the situation, we've got 55 Psy on this part, which 30 Psy for uh, Mu, but then 71 Psy on the opposite end uh, for Mu, I should say. Sorry, Gomi. I, I said Mu when I meant Gomi. I'm going to try to defend this with these high, with these Reavers. I'm going to end up losing a pile in the background, but what this is going to allow is that's going to allow Gomi to get his forces back up. Uh, maybe he can get something done. That's also going to put him in the red as far as supply goes. And that shuttle getting picked off with a Reaver inside, uh, absolutely devastating. And now, whew, just completely on the defensive, maybe these three Reavers will hold it off for a time, but it's not going to end up holding things off. Uh, basically, one base versus uh, your opponents who have multiple expansions across the board. As you can see, it looks like Mu is expanding additionally. He's getting another expansion down. He's already got this one at uh, full drone saturation, it looks like. He can just camp outside and just play this slow at this point. And Sick uh, doesn't want to lose this. He knows it's coming down to this, uh, upgrading that Reaver splash damage. Looks like he's going to set up for another attack here. Actually, no, just going to ferry his Reavers to the front door, uh, lock himself in at this point. I'm not sure what he can get done. He's getting a Nexus, actually, to the north and, and using, in desperation, going to try to mine these uh, pithy minerals to the north. Uh, and use that uh, nexus to get some additional psi. Unfortunately, as you can see, an overlord's already at that position, spotting it out. Really, I'm not sure if that's worth it, because uh, barely 400 resources even in that mineral field as it is. Uh, maybe do some distance mining. Some oof, uh, overlord just pushing in. I thought that might have been full of some hydrolisks or something. And now, just going straight through the gap, going to be able to take out those cannons before they come up. Also going to be able to take out the robotics facility. Reaver's pushing up, but the question is, is will they be able to stop uh, stop this? There are some cannons here in the background. It looks like one of the Reavers taken out. Uh, second Reaver going to get taken out momentarily, and that third Reaver that was just produced going to get wiped out as well. I expect a GG momentarily here from Sick. Uh, just devastating. Losing robotics facility. His entire front door getting breached now by these Hydralisks. He doesn't have really anything to defend his base. He does have this robotics facility in the background, but that's producing uh, a shuttle alongside. Looks like uh, shuttles <laughs> in the background here. I think there was another shuttle harass that I missed actually to the north. Uh, it's not really going to accomplish a lot though. Sick 
full base breacher. Uh, the Reavers, yeah, it looks like they came back to uh, deal with this Hydralis attack. He might be able to stop this momentarily. Shuttle going down with the Reaver inside. Uh, that second Reaver is going to get taken out. And now uh, the only defense is cannons. And cannons versus Hydralisks, usually Hydralisks win. Uh, we'll see if that, that Corsair might be able to be produced here in the meantime. And Probe's coming off the line in defense for Sick now. Uh, let's see if Sick, he's, he has produced a shuttle, but it doesn't look like he's produced any Reavers alongside. And Probe's getting massacred out in the field now. That shuttle uh, trying to push out, but it doesn't have anything in it to really attack with. And now the Zealot's coming in as well. Sick has to GG here. Uh, his base is completely breached, so it looks like 50 Cal is in fact going to sweep uh, Shock in this match, and they are completely undefeated in the season thus far. Next week they're going to be facing Media. There will be the live cast in channel, uh, if you go to iCup, uh, it's in Yankee, in channel Yankee 01, or sorry, just Yankee 1, Op Yankee 1, Op Yankee 2, their blade, and sick uh, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for listening. Once again, go to BWUSA.org for uh, all the information regarding Yankee League. You can listen in live Wednesday and Thursday and just chill with actually the players who play in the matches, which I think is awesome. They're very accessible. All of them are awesome, guys. Special thanks to Shock and 50 Cal for letting me sit in and uh, watch this match. Sorry for a little bit of the tardiness of getting this out. Been very busy this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.